Hey everyone, it's Audrey with Social Media 4, that's the number 4, Beginners.com, where I teach you the complete newbie how to use the different social media sites so that you could stay connected to your family and friends. So in this video tutorial, what I'm gonna do is show you how to download an individual photo, an album of yours that you've uploaded, or all of your photos and videos off of your Facebook. I had someone come over to our Facebook page and had asked, I wanna, you know, how do I download all of my photos and videos off of Facebook because I'm shutting down and I'm getting off of Facebook. And I was like, oh, okay, you know what? That's a great video. But not just showing you how to do that, but why not just go ahead and incorporate it all? If you want to download an individual photo, maybe an album that has a whole bunch of photos, or you can download all of your photos and videos in one full swipe there. So that is what we're going to learn. Now, before we move on, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up if it helped you in any way. Be sure to subscribe, hit the little bell button so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. And if you have any comments or you'd like me to do another video on how to do something on one of the social media sites, leave it in the comment section below. This is how I um, you know, get the content so that I'm uploading content that you want and that you want to learn about okay so without further ado let's just jump right into Facebook and let me show you how to download all those images all right so here we are on our Facebook homepage, and the first thing you want to do is head over to your profile by clicking on your photo up here to the top and then you'll want to choose photos right underneath of your cover photo and keeping in mind that photos of you these are all tagged photos that somebody else has uploaded and tagged you in your photos these are your individual photos that you've uploaded and then you have your albums so let's first download a specific or an individual photo to your computer all you'll have to do is just choose whatever photo you want to download so i will do this and you're going to tap or click on this uh, little pencil and then all you have to simply do is just download and then you'll you know, go to the folder that you wanna put it in. I've already got a download or a Facebook downloads folder that I would put it in. And then with individual pictures, um, this is cool because you can actually uh, tag them you know, and call name them what it is they are. So I can just do grandchildren. And then I'm gonna click save, okay? So that's how you download an individual one. Now, to download albums, of course, with Facebook, nothing is ever easy, and there might be a trick that you have to do. But what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna, let's say I wanna download my all of my profile pictures, okay? So I would click on this album, and it would open up in my album. Then all I would do is click on this uh, cog wheel right here, and it says download album. So I'm gonna download the album. Now it's gonna let you know, depending on how how many pictures you have in this album, uh, will de to determine how long it's gonna take. I don't have very many in here, so it should go very quickly. That's why I chose this, this folder. So let's hit continue. And now we're gonna wait for it uh, to pop up down here and it'll tell us when it's ready to download. All right, and now here it is. So now what I wanna do is I can click on this and now it's going to open up once again to where do I want to, um, you know, save this. And you'll also notice that this is a zip folder because it's got, it put all of your images in one place and just kind of zipped it up and said, okay, here you go. Okay, so I'm gonna click on, this is Facebook album. I'll just say profile pictures. So if you do want to name, uh, that way it'll be easier for you to know what it is. So if you have a whole bunch of pictures, maybe from uh, mobile uploads or you've got some from Instagram or it's your cover photo, then I would go ahead and save it as that so that you can quickly get back to it and you know what you're, you're dealing with. So I'm gonna click on save and now the images are down here. Now I'm on a Mac, but if you're on a Windows, it'll come up also. And so I'm just gonna click on this and now it's showing me all of my photos okay within here profile pictures and then open it and these are all of my photos that were 
in an album on Facebook, okay? All right, listen up. If you're not in front of your computer to get that little notification and be able to click on it to open and download that album, it's gonna give you a little notification up here. And when you click on notifications, it'll say your album profile pictures is ready to download. Now here's the catch. If you click on that, it will open up just like it did before and it will give you the opportunity to put it into a folder. However, if you don't put it in the folder right away and you move off and you go somewhere else, when you click on this, you'll see what happens. Absolutely nothing happens. It doesn't give you the ability to save this anywhere. And so in order for you to be able to open that or be able to save it, what you'll need to do is to copy this URL, open up another window and paste it in here, hit the enter, and then it will open it up and allow you to save it on your computer. This was bugging me and I'm so glad it happened because there's other people that have been asking why can't they find their download folder and that's the reason why is because you try to open it and I guess you didn't save it and so now when you click on it it just gives you the URL. So this is how you're going to do it. So it's in the uh, Facebook downloads and this is the Facebook album of the profile photos okay so I'll just do profile photos there we go and click save and now it saved it and once again you would go through the same process of just clicking on the zip file and it'll open it up and there they will be now the the question that I got asked was how do I download all of my photos and videos because I'm shutting down my Facebook account so in order to do that, what you would do is simply go over here and click on this down arrow and go to settings. Under your settings, over to the left, you'll notice it says your Facebook information. Click on that and then it lets you know that you can download your information and then delete your account at any time. So in order to download your information, you will simply click on view beside that. And now you can download every single thing that you have done within Facebook um, for as long as you've been on Facebook. So it is entirely up to you. But because of this video, all we are doing is photos and videos. To, so, to simply you know, just select photos and videos, I'm gonna deselect all and then just select the photos and videos, okay? So I could do a date range. If, if you wanna do a date range, you are more than welcome to do that. Or if you wanna do all of your data from the moment you got on Facebook until now, you can do that and just set it to all of my data. The format is, is only an HTML or a JSON. So I would just keep it at an HTML and then the media quality. If you want to download them in high resolution, keeping in mind it's going to take up a lot of space on your computer and it's going to take much longer or you can do medium or low. Entirely up to you. Me, I would probably do high because I want the best resolution if you want to print it, make it into prints, all of that. Okay, so I'm going to create the file. And now a copy of your information is being created. Your copy may contain more than one file, depending on how much information your request contains. We'll let you know when your copy is complete so you can download it to your preferred device. You can cancel this process before the file is complete. So you could come back on here and cancel. So now this is gonna take just a little while. So what I'm gonna do is kind of just pause this and then we'll come back on and I'll show you how and where you can get this file. All right, so the file is ready to be downloaded and you'll know by this little notification. When you click on that, it says your Facebook information file is ready to download. Now, it did not take that very long um, because I don't have a lot of photos and videos. So once again, keep in mind that this could take forever depending on how long you've been on Facebook. All right, so click on that. And now what it says, you can download a copy of your information. There's one available copy. 
and this is the copy right here. So there's file one of one, and it looks like it expires January 26th. So that's only in four days. So you only have four days to download this information, okay? If you don't download it, I'm sure that you can go back in and access your information again. So what I'm gonna do is just click on download, and once again, it's asking me, where do you want this to go? And if you want to name it, you can name it. So what I would do is Facebook, um, I would just say Facebook photos, videos, okay? Just so that I know what it is and I'm going to click on save. So now what it's doing is it's downloading it onto my computer. And once again, it downloaded as a zip file. So I'm going to just click on that and it's going to open it up into its own folder. So I'm going to click on this and now I've got photos and videos. And now here it is where I've got each of the albums that I have, it's taken it and put it into those albums. So here's Michaela's bridal shower, here's the cover photo, here's another album, I'm not sure about that HTML, here's thumbnails, so maybe I've uploaded a thumbnail or whatever. And so that is how you download an individual image, an album, a specific album, or all of your videos and photos off of Facebook so that you can bounce or do whatever you need to. So once again, be sure to to, uh, share this video if it helped you in any way and give it a thumbs up and until next video y'all be blessed bye